This is the Wisco Boater Channel. My name is Chad. Uh, today I'm going to do uh, a couple of walk, just walk past viewings of uh, some boats. Uh, these are the first ones I'm looking at. And the way I'm doing this um, this time is I'm gonna, the ones that are here in Sturgeon Bay that I wanna look at, I'm just gonna do kind of walk bys um, around the outside, compare those to pictures I can see online, just so I can get an idea of the condition of the boat from the outside before I actually uh, make an appointment. So, um, got yours in a leash here, a little bit, little breezy, um, so hopefully the audio is okay. But uh, Jersey and I are going to walk um, along the row of boats here at Skipper Buds to start. And uh, if I want to see something, I'll make an appointment. Now this boat right here was in a video I did a few weeks ago. Uh, this is a Cobalt 293. I do have an appointment to look at this one. So I'll do a video on that when I see it. Um, but uh, that's a 1998 uh, Cobalt 293. Looks like a nice boat. So. We'll walk down the row boats here. I'm going to go look at, uh, I think it's a 2003 Crown Line 230 CR. This is probably not a boat I will seriously consider uh, just because of the size. But uh, we'll walk by it and see what it looks like from the outside anyway. And, uh, and then another boat that's here at, at Skipper Buds is in one of the buildings, and I don't know which building, so I'm going to do a little hunting. That one is not represented by Skipper Buds. Uh, it's represented by Weber Yachts, uh, but at least I can take a look at it from the outside, if I can find it. So, yeah, let's go see this crown line from the outside. Okay, so here's the crown line. It is on a trailer, as you can see. Definitely needs bottom paint. Trailer's in really nice shape. Boat looks to be in pretty good shape as well. Just definitely needs bottom paint. I mean, it's a good looking boat. Small or smaller. The yeah, outdrive needs some work. Clean that up. Props are a little dirty, but uh, lots of missing paint and corrosion on this drive. This boat's been for sale for a while, and that may be why. Didn't get a great bottom wash either. Kind of like, oh, I bet they did it when it was on the trailer. They couldn't get, couldn't get down that far. Nice big swim platform. Yeah, not clear enough to see inside. It does have a door on the shrink wrap, but I'm not gonna get on the boat obviously without representation. Man, the hull is actually sitting on the fender of the trailer. On this side, I didn't notice it on the other side. Cheers, you're wrapped up here. Yeah, really not a bad looking boat. It's sitting, oh, it's just crooked on the trailer. Lots of space on this side. Yeah, I don't know if I'll look at this one or not. It's a nice looking boat, but seeing it in person here, you can really tell the size is, is uh, not quite there, being a 23 foot boat. Okay, well, Let's uh, go check out the buildings here. And uh, like I said, it's Saturday. I don't know what their Saturday, Sunday hours are at this point. I know that uh, they, they're not open on Sundays until after the Super Bowl. Uh, so that's uh, mid-February, early to mid-February. So 
We'll go see if we can find this other one. It's a 92 Wellcraft 3200 uh, San Tropez, I think is what it's called. Let's see if we can find it. Walk back to the car. Just real quick, if I was in the market for a little sport boat, these little sea doo switches look like a blast. Completely configurable interiors and uh, really fast little fun boats. That'd be cool, but not what I'm looking for. Cool to see one though. Okay, I'm gonna start with the uh, annex building, as I'll call it, because this boat is not represented by skipper buds. It might be out in one of these buildings. Is this it right here? I found it right away. It is. So this is a uh, 92 Wellcraft 3200 Dirty Hooker. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm not real big on is looking at boats that were used as fishing vessels, which this one obviously has. The camper canvas and Isinglass is in really good shape though. Gel coat's good. The uh, striping is uh, worn. Yeah, fish on. I like that it has an arch. Yeah, the side window, the side glass, side eyes and glass on this side, cloudy. Bottom paint looks okay. In boards. Nice pulpit. I mean, the hull's definitely well, well cared for. A little bottom paint wear on this side. Yeah, I mean, really not, not bad, not bad condition from the outside. No way to open that door, and I probably shouldn't do that anyway. I don't know what this is about. Got tape all around the entryway there. Man, they pack them in so tight that anchor is nearly touching the eyes and glass. tape here. It does have weaver davits. Hmm. Alright, well I totally got lucky in finding this boat right away, but uh, the guess that it would be in this building was pretty good since it's not a boat represented by Skipper Buds. So, I don't know. The interior of that boat is really, really nice. Um, here, I'll show you some pictures. It's It's been well cared for or well done or or redone um very open airy uh, this boat does have most of the things i would want in air conditioning uh i don't know that it has a generator but you can see it's in very very good condition um on the inside so i don't know i'll think about this one this would be the biggest boat on my list at 32 feet so, yeah, we'll see. Something to consider.
Okay, so one more boat I'm gonna go look at today from the outside anyway is, it's not the oldest boat on my list. Uh, actually it is, because um, there is another uh, older Chris Craft picnic boat that's on my list that, uh, here's a picture of it. It's a really cool little boat. Well, 32, I think it's 32 foot, no, 30 feet. There's a, this is a um, 84 Chris Craft Commander 316. Um, there's only 15 of these ever made. So super rare, which is very interesting to me, of course. Uh, and it's pretty well restored. Um, doesn't have, doesn't have many of the features that I want um, in a boat, but it does have a, a sort of a camper enclosure and it does have a V-berth. Just a different, different layout, um, picnic boats. I mean, they're really, really more set up for more like day boat, day boating. You know, you're not really gonna take a, this across Green Bay and overnight or anchor out overnight on it. You could, but not really set up for that. But this next boat that I'm gonna go look at is, uh, I believe it's an 82 uh, Tierra. Uh, now this boat is a friend of, uh, is owned by a friend of mine. He's actually a, a broker here in Sturgeon Bay for Bay Marine. Um, he doesn't know that I'm looking at the boat from the outside, but that's uh, that's what I kind of like to do is go take a look at boats from the outside compared to what I can see on the inside with the pictures, as I said, and then uh, make appointments after that if I want to see it. Now, I've talked to, I talked to him about this boat already. He really wants me to look at it because it's really, really a nice boat. Um, and it's really, really low hours, like 160 hours on the, on the boat, so which is crazy, um, but well-maintained. Um, you know, single engine uh, Volvo, I think is what's in this one. But uh, it's over at uh, one, of the, one of the places on the highway just south of town here. So I'll drive down there and hopefully it's outside. It's, uh, it's been outside uh, uh, every time I've driven by it. So hopefully it's still outside and I'll be able to get, uh, get some footage of it. Okay, the boat is outside. It is at Bay Marine. And this is a uh, 23 or 24 foot Tierra. It is the oldest boat on my list of boats to uh, possibly consider. And uh, this boat's in really, really nice condition. He's done a really, really good job of taking care of this. This one we can actually see inside a little bit. back there. A uh, gel coat's in good shape. Nice and clean boat. No uh, no bottom paint. It's obviously he's pulled in and out of the water every time uh, he would be using this boat. Let's see. Yeah, we can kind of see inside there. Yeah, good condition. The pictures online are really dark, so it's hard to see. Again, this one's not gonna be big enough for what I'm looking for. But if I were looking for something in this size size range, this is a very very nice boat. It's it's only listed for fifteen thousand dollars, so fifteen grand to be on a trailer. Little galley there. It does have the original radio in it. I don't know if it's an A track or cassette, but you can see it on the left hand side there. It is the original. He did use the boat, uh, just not using it much anymore. So, sorry about the car noise. I were right on the highway here. So, top's in great shape. It's got a Garmin in it. Yeah. 
really, really well cared for. I mean, I like this boat. If it were, uh, if it were a little newer and a little bigger, I'd love to have a Tierra. Hmm. Second boat, maybe. <laughs> All right, so those are the three boats that I wanted to uh, window shop that are here in Sturgeon Bay. Uh, I'll plan to keep looking at boats um, and make appointments as I as I come across boats as I come across boats that I really would like to see. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that Cobalt 293. So um, watch that video coming up here pretty soon. So thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Boat shopping is here. Thirsty Whale's gone. So hopefully some good times ahead. Thanks for watching everybody. Happy boating.